Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Baruin Build. Last episode, we did what you see behind me. That is an outdoor kitchen, and we did the interior of the captain's ca cabin. And I really love how this has turned out. I mean, this is definitely one of my favorite builds, I think, uh, in this area. I think this is just super cool. It's a really fun, unique way to actually do a kitchen. Um, and so I think it's really good. Even has like a little pipe going up. If you haven't seen that episode, definitely check it out because it's a really nice one. I really do enjoy the final result. Um, and then also we did the interior here of our captain's cabin. I think it looks very, very nice. I did end up putting a book there. I think it looks really good. And yeah, I'm very happy with it. And it seemed like you guys were as well. So that's really awesome. Um, today, what I'm going to do is trying, I'm going to be trying to make this video relatively short uh, because I am trying to backlog some videos for you for over the Christmas holiday. Did not want to not release anything, so I'm trying to backlog and the result of that is doing like sh slightly shorter episodes. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is working on the boat and doing more of the layout in terms of like just the cargo and everything we're going to do a lot of stuff down here we're going to get the bunk bed area here for the crew in order like the sleeping area we're going to also work on this area and then i also would like to get down below as well because this really isn't going to take too much i don't think it's just going to be a lot of crates barrels and items that are that look like they've been like wrapped up for storage so i don't think it's going to be too much of a hassle um but i wanted to go ahead and do that for a video because i was debating not doing it for a video and just doing it on my own but then i figured you know what it's a good it'd be good content to cover for the holiday season so that it's not too much effort for me to record it and i can get something out to you that is also modded like decent so without further ado why not why don't we go ahead and get into it uh, i think what i would like to start with actually is down here i think i'm gonna do this area first um, and then move on down here i'm not sure if i'm going to do this as a time lapse or if i'm going to do this more as jump cuts haven't really thought about that just wanted to make sure that i talked to you before we did whatever we ended up doing uh, i'm going to probably leave this this deck area here um, for last i think i'm still going to try and tackle it but who knows um, it kind of needs a little bit of planning and thought for the balloon itself uh, maybe we'll even get into that. I really don't know. I just know I want to get a little bit more on the boat done. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get on into building this. All right, guys. So I've been doing some work and I actually just went back through and watched my the clip. I literally just recorded this and then did some more building and stuff. Um, and then the, the, the clip didn't work. So I'm going to re-record this clip, but I'm going to have to try and make it so I, I don't actually look at the stuff that's in the next clip, um, which shouldn't be that hard. Um, okay, well, rock it. So I did the, I ended up doing the entire interior for the, um, cruise quarters because, I don't know, I just thought it would be good. It wasn't that hard or anything, and I also needed to gather a lot of wool. Um, so as you can see, I did some work on the outside here. Um, I did a little bit of a sort of just seating area on either side. They're mirrored on either side. Um, this is a trick I like doing, um, putting composters, filling them up with like leaves or saplings or something like that. Makes it look like dirt. I think it looks really nice. I really do enjoy it. Uh, we've got some, I think these are acacia and spruce leaves um, to just give a little bit of green. Same thing here, very, very similar. Actually, exactly the same, mirrored on either side. So that is good. Now we get into here. We've got some simple chests and stuff, and I actually built on camera with you. Basically, just built, put this stuff in, and then put in a couple other things. But can't do that over again. So this is the bunk room for the entire crew, and we are using all brown beds because our brown bed texture is a hammock, and I I like this texture. I really do. I really think it's good. Um, 
went ahead and put some beams in the ceiling just to give some structure. I'm going to do this all the way across. Uh, the ship just only did it in here just to see, see what it would look like. And it doesn't look that bad either um, in the captain's quarters above. Um, and so that is good. It got some wall hooks and stuff for, I don't know, just some hanging clothes. And then I put scaffolding here and I'm using the scaffolding like um, some like shelves. I think that's good. They don't really need much of anything in here. So this is mainly just for sleeping. So they have some shelves if they want. And then we've got some shelves back here as well on this side of the entrance. And I think it's good. I really like it. And then I put some carpet down just to give a little bit of warmth to the area and a little bit of a raised texture here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually work down there. Now I, you can see there's a little bit of work done and I don't want to go down there and spoil any of it. So let me go ahead and fake do that and then we'll come back here in just a second to take a look see at it. All right, guys, so I've been doing some work down below, have the second floor actually done. I'm going to, I'm bringing you back in for the third floor, but I wanted to show you this. So this is the first kind of concept I wanted to kind of draft out about the, where the fire is going to be, because it's going to need to be a pretty big fire. And so I'm trying to figure out how exactly we're going to go about doing that. Um, and so I've got this idea currently. Not sure if this is what we're going to go with, um, but it needs to be something that can't be burnt. So it kind of has to be like stone or a hard material. This obviously would be very heavy. So we're going to have to put some sort of support system underneath it. Um, but just wanted to show you this. this is kind of the idea. And so the fire would go like here. And this is where everything would be all the flames and all that stuff. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of the idea. And then the balloon obviously would be up there. And I'm kind of assuming what the idea is that the balloons, like tethers would be on the sides or right here. Um, and then maybe up here so that it'll be tethered here, 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 here. And then um, it'll, and maybe at the very front as well but nothing that's going to block the view too much of the captain being able to steer the ship. So that is kind of what I've been working with. I think it's a, a good start, um, but we're not going to be doing anything else with that today. I just wanted to show you my thoughts and then, uh, yeah, let's jump down here because we're going to take a look, see here. So I've been working in this area and I have this all pretty much done. I was going to do like an organized sort of system where it's a bunch of shelves and stuff, but then I kind of figured, eh, maybe not. I don't think that's necessarily what needs to be done. Um, so I put shelves over here uh, and I have just piles of crates and things, various different things, chests, uh, these uh, path blocks that kind of look like grain or something like that, Bar various barrels that are filled with different things, um, uh, random coffins. Uh, this back area is mainly hay, and then this area also is mainly hay. Still haven't fully done the walls. I went and put stairs on everything that is kind of squared just to make it on these sides at least just to make them feel a little bit rounder um, and a little bit more thought out. Obviously didn't do anything there. But what we're gonna be doing now is down here. So I've been laying these logs out and what I want to do is put in some beams going across so that it shows uh, some structure and I actually forgot some wood. All right, got the wood. So the idea is, that I want to go with is I want to, these beams will have to go right here. But what I'd like to do is make them so that they go up and then kind of go across like this. And so that they look as if they are actually like supporting the ship. And then this would go here. And I know that's gonna kind of breach that area, but the idea is this will become a full platform. Um, and then it, it'll it'll make a little bit more sense once we get these in, but the ship does need structure, needs some way to actually show that, hey, this is actually like structurally sound. 
um, and these beams are going to be helping that. Um, so some of these, what I wanted to do actually was bust down here where the original floor idea was, bust down here, and then we can actually like put the beams down here and then build them up right here. And so this can actually be the floor, this can be the floor, and then what we're gonna do is put this here, this here, and then this, and then same idea here is right here. We're gonna do that. Oh, we're gonna do that. And so then we get this like beam that is a supporting beam going down here. And I think that is good. And I may put one that kind of goes all the way down and goes through the floor here and back up the center, similar to this, just like another internal beam. I think that could be good. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be back. All right, so I am done doing the beams. It made this place look a whole lot more interesting, that's for sure. So we've got all this striping pattern going on and I think it looks really cool. Originally I was using dark oak stairs here, but that really made it feel weird. So I used dark oak fences to kind of round the shape out a little bit. And I think it looks good. And so this is what this side looks like. Now we look like we have some structural beams going on. And I think it looks good and gives a little bit more of an interesting shape around the place. Um, and I think we'll do stairs there so we can get up here. And then this, honestly, I'm probably just going to leave this and not really do anything with it. Um, I, I don't really know if I need to fill it in or not. I may fill some of these things in just to give it a more structured feeling. But other than that, I don't think it's uh, much is needed here. What I'd like to do is, and I'm not going to do all of this on camera, but I wanted to make this bottom area the most important section. Um, and by that, I'm meaning the most important is in the heavier things and the things that they are trading to these people. So first example would be iron. And I was thinking maybe they're doing some iron ore stuff and they're giving them a large chunk of iron ore to be able to give to the people like they're trading them for it. Oh, I should probably not fill that in and try and conserve some iron ore. Um, and then... The idea then is maybe some iron blocks go along with them uh, and they could then really get a lot of iron in there and they can trade all sorts of things. Probably don't need that iron block there then if that's going to be here and then maybe like that and then an iron block here and that'll, that I think is good. Maybe one right there and so this is kind of like an iron section. And I'm going to get some item frames and stuff and put some iron ingots and iron nuggets and things all scattered around here. Maybe even have some shelving stuff going on. And I think that could be good. But maybe what we do is make some more important shelving type of stuff so that we can actually like, you know, put stuff on it. So this is like bulk storage of the big chunky stuff. And maybe this stuff right here, this could be like the... Um, the main shelving area maybe we'll do this so they have stuff here and then we'll put some like iron ingots and stuff held on here i'm not really sure haven't really thought too much about this i'm thinking just doing some shelving in between where it makes sense um, and do we have any trap doors on us? I don't think so. And I don't know if I have any trap doors up here. One thing is that the uh, the beams did make some interesting areas that have dark, have some like spruce. Oh, we need to sleep. Um, and I don't really know how to cover that. And I don't know if I'm really going to. Uh, it doesn't really like make me, I don't feel like I need to. So we may not do that. We may not cover them up with like carpet and things i don't think it's necessary uh but it will there is a little bit of oddity going on there so we've got solid we have one hole uh great okay let's do this and then okay we'll just make that because i don't feel like having to take up spot and then let's do some trap doors and then see so here you can see it you've got some beam stuff here which we could have shoved up there but 
I, I don't really, I may put some of these up, but I don't necessarily want to continue all of them going up. I don't think it's necessary. I think we get the point down here. Um, and then we can just start making some like tables and things for things to sit on. I think that would be good. Um, and then like, yeah, let's do this here. And then yeah, we're just gonna really start decking this out with some stuff. And some other other things I'm thinking of putting are the various different wood types uh, because they are trading like acacia logs and stuff. And so maybe this kind of sectioned off area has some wood beams that they've laid down for them. And all right, I gotta get up there and get this. And so maybe they've got some logs here for them to trade. And so then they can actually like, you know, have some acacia logs and then maybe actually did this go it did is this necessary this one's necessary but this one is not so that goes there but this one interesting hmm so this this side is a little different than this side but it's not anything you're ever going to notice so i'm not going to really worry about it um but yeah this is going to be like our log storage and then oh you're the wrong log type and then I think that that is good. That'll make it so a little bit more interesting. And then we've got some meaning down here because one like right here, maybe let's see, where is this in relation to the outside? That's right there. And that might be a good entrance. This section right here, I think I'm going to make a door at some point. And I think that's where the main entrance is going to be. So you, they can easily load stuff. Um, and they don't have to worry too much about having to haul the heavy stuff up over. They can just like put it in the bottom immediately. And that's why that's all the big heavy stuff is down there. Um, so I think that is where the door is going to be. I'm going to block that hole up actually, uh, just for remembering that those pieces of wood go there. Um, but I think that is going to be where the door is. I think that'll be good. Now let me go ahead and get some more work done and then I think we're gonna be done with this episode because I, I don't really know what else we could do and put down here and I'm still thinking about it. Um, so I'm gonna flesh out the wood area and maybe put some like gold ore and stuff maybe over here. Keep this section right here open and then put some stuff right here. So I think that's gonna be good. So let me go ahead and continue working. All right guys. I am done with the lower deck stuff and I've got actually a good amount to show you and I am really happy with how it's turned out. First, let's take a look at this. So I went ahead and continued to work on this. This is kind of like where the main heat of the for the hot air balloon would be and I think it's good. It's got supporting beams underneath. These are all beams that you'll see below. And I, so I think this would be structurally sound for the most part, because there are beams that go all the way all underneath it. Um, and I decided to make it, now I haven't actually lit stuff on fire. This is like, some of this stuff is actually gonna be on fire and it's gonna look a little bit bigger. Um, but I thought that this was a cool design and it actually blocks this off. Um, and the reason for the top shape that it is, that it has is because when you're up here, you can actually still see through and I thought that was kind of cool um, and so yeah I think it's really cool now the sun's setting so let me go ahead and sleep all right so that is this thingy I don't know if it's done necessarily but it's it's more complete than the last time you saw it but going down here so last you saw was down here now you can see with the beams i think that adds a lot makes it feel a lot more structurally sound i think it's really good i really like it i think it's nice i do enjoy it i do have some beams here and then put a beam up there and continued them that way a bit um, and then there are beams also on the lower floor as you'll see and this is where some magic happens, or at least I think it's magical. So you come down here and you're greeted with this. These are giant containers that are supposed to be like big tanks almost, uh, not tanks because that's for water, but just like big containment units for brick, cobblestone, gravel, andesite, and clay was what I, I went with just for variety's sake. But essentially is these are supposed to just be like big, like they'd actually go down. 
underneath and they're supposed to be like just big containers for these different materials and i thought that this was a really cool way to do it um, and pretty interesting as well so that is this and i i like it i think it's cool it's a cool use of this space and it's it's definitely unique i think it makes the ship a little back heavy but whatever that's fine added in some fences and stuff for this as you saw but here we are we have obsidian right here just did a little bit of obsidian uh, this is going to be the doorway area or at least i think it's going to be the doorway area put some coal just some small things here and there put a shelving unit right here um, just for some interest and i think that is really nice i do enjoy that could put a light underneath there but we have one there um, and then just put a whole bunch of random stuff. We've got iron here, and I think this is good. Good amount of iron, actually. We got more shelves on this side. And then we continue on some just random stuff on the sides here. Continue on, and this is our log area. So we've got acacia log right here, birch here, dark oak, and then oak kind of just sitting here and then some redstone and lapis. And I'm thinking about putting maybe some like emeralds or something like here. And I think that would be good, but that's the bottom area and it is done. I like, there's not really anything besides the door that I want to add. I think it is relatively done. Also the beams do look good, I think. I really do enjoy it. Um, and yeah, I think I'm really happy with how the interior of this has turned out. So the interior of the ship is actually f basically fully complete unless there's like the door minor things, very, very minor things are not complete, but I think overall it's pretty much done. And then I also did do this area a little bit, made it a little bit more interesting. So I have some guardrails and then have a little guardrail up there and then some lighting up here. And I thought that that was good. So you can actually view right here. So that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I have really had a fun time doing this. And uh, only one more episode of backlog stuff. And then we'll be back to normal one video per week type of well it's already one video per week but one video that i'm making per week instead of backlogging videos so hope you guys have enjoyed hope you have enjoyed the interiors as well because i really have enjoyed it so without further ado wow we are close here let me let me let me remove my helmet without further ado guys i will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.